This is not the society in the province that the workers that came before us fought for. This is not our society that we want to live in. From a rally in Burnaby to another in Victoria, the message is clear. Labour groups are calling on the provincial government for change. One of the key issues this Labour Day, minimum wage. Well, we think it needs to uh, an immediate increase to at least $10 an hour, at least $10 an hour. And it needs to have a, a process set up so they can be pegged to the cost of living. Minimum wage hasn't been raised in B.C. since 2001, and we have the lowest minimum wage in the country. We wouldn't see the, 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 the threat of a huge increase overnight. It would have been increased incrementally, and it would have made sense. Instead, we see 10 years without an increase to the minimum wage. It's just outrageous. With the cost of living so high in this province, Victoria Labour Council President Michael Eso says that means tough decisions for some workers. It means uh, for, for some people putting food on the table, having to choose between uh, food on the table or school supplies. Labour Minister Murray Cole wasn't available for comment today. We asked if the government would consider raising the minimum wage. In a statement, the minister says his position is clear. Our government has held fast to the view that there are many better and effective ways to assist these workers apart from increasing minimum wage. The statement continues. Since 2001, the government has used a wide range of tools and programs to offset financial circumstances and directly target benefits to individual needs. Those include income tax reduction, student loan forgiveness and fair pharmacare. In other words, no, the government has no plan to up the rate. Uh, a couple of dollars an hour to someone who's making eight dollars an hour, moving to ten dollars an hour, doesn't seem like that much, but if you're making eight bucks an hour, a couple of dollars an hour is a big improvement. Jim Sinclair, president of the BC Federation of Labour, says there is a clear message for Gordon Campbell. Increase minimum wage and improve conditions for workers around the province. You have to make sure that every human being in this province that goes to work every day comes home safe and in one piece. Because the deal is not that we give our lives in this province for your economy, Mr. Campbell. It's been over a century and a half since Labour Day was first recognized, but the fight still lives on. Labour groups say the HST is another reason to up the minimum wage. They say the people who need the money the most are the ones who are hurt and impacted by the harmonized sales tax. Eric. Louise Hartland reporting. Thank you, Louise.